All right, I'm going to put a pretty simple house together, just make it square with a straight roof uh, to give you an idea how to move these blocks. Stretch them out to use this new um, feature so you don't have to worry about uh, going in and unwrapping stuff. And uh, it just makes it a little bit cleaner and keeps the try count down. Um, you can see here I got this plane selected. You can see it's four vertices, one in each corner, four edges, one face, and two tries. All that stuff used to be down here on this bottom corner in uh, 2.8, but in 2.9 it's listed up over here. But uh, by default, I don't think it shows. You have to come in here to turn that off. Off and on is right here. That'll turn that on and off. Uh, another thing I just want to show you quick, I'll get a solid view. Yeah, if you've been watching along Matt's videos and stuff, uh, you've probably already seen this, but right now I've got the edge length on and the normals. You can see that little blue dot sticking out. And to turn them on and off, it's down here. This is for the edge length. I'll turn that off and then the, for your normals, which way they're facing, you can turn that on and off right here. I'll leave that on. And uh, I'm just going to tab out of that, go back to the shaded so we can see the textures. Now let's just do a house here quick. I'll bring out the 12 meter wide. Uh, let me hide that one here first. And this is, everything's in collections here. Um, I have a new project already set up. When you come in, if you're doing your clubhouse or whatever, you can go ahead and name it clubhouse, whatever, maintenance building. But I would suggest when you start a new project to come up, file, save as, and then name it you know, your course or clubhouse, maintenance building. That way you're not overwriting this original house builder. That way if you by accident delete a roof or whatever, you can just, it doesn't matter. You still have the original copy to start off your next project with instead of having to go back out and download it. So coming in here, I'm going to come to the 12. And I'm just going to grab the front click on it, shift D to duplicate, as opposed to control D in Unity, you'll be getting mixed up going back and forth with that for a while. I'll hide the original, and I like to pull them out. You could build leaving these in here, and when you're done at the end, joining everything will be one thing you can pull down to the project, but I like to bring it out of there right away into my new project. So. You could drag it and drop it down into that collection, but when you get too many things open, it gets hard. So if you come over here with it highlighted, hit M, and we're going to move it to the new project. And there it goes, down in. I'll close that out. Up here some of the other different blocks we'll get to later, windows, doors, and stuff. So I always start my building from the roof and work my way down because I'll bring in a plane and the Google image to what the size of my plot is. So like with the Highlands course, I'll make a plane up that's 2,037 meters square and put the Google map on, cut out where the um, clubhouse is and the other buildings and then bring them over to the side here and I'll build off of that if it's a complex roof. I just find it easier to put the roof together first and then snap the walls in after. So I'll just build this simple one from the roof roof down anyhow, like I normally would. So I want it to be a two-story building, so this roof wants to go up six meters. Each floor, we usually figure about three meters. So I'm going to go G to grab in the Z-axis, six meters. I want to rotate it in the z-axis 90 degrees, but in the negative, so it rotates to the left. So we're going to go 
r to rotate z minus 90 enter 7 on the numpad drag it up and over that way you know I'm not hiding the pieces I'm bringing out now with the new feature we can just stretch this roof out and keep the tiling the same let me just make sure well I got a tab in I want to make sure it's off first and I'll show you uh, up here if you're not familiar vertex edge and face select or on the keyboard number one number two and number three so I want to grab this edge and stretch it out now being in just shaded if I box select this I'm only gonna whoop, I'm in face select let me go back to click off go back to two so I'm in edge it won't grab everything because it's only it's still solid so it's only grabbing the parts that it's touching but if we go seven and we go in the x-ray now when we do that box select those edges it'll get it'll grab everything now if I grab this now and drag it you can see how it's distorting the texture so control Z with this new feature when we want to stretch these out in edit mode if we come up here click it now I can go GX 15 because we already had three this will give us 18 meters and you can see it's tiled correctly now I'm going to come back up turn this off because we need to fill this end in because it's open so we need to come back over here and I'll go back to solid or to uh, face select now and we'll grab that overhang all those faces now they're highlighted which you can see go back to seven we're going to duplicate it turn it 180 degrees and drag it down to this end and snap it in so shift D to duplicate R and we're turning it in the Z axis and we're going 180 degrees enter now we could go GX 18.4 which should put us basically where we want to be I'm going to go GX 18.4 and it should have us where it needs to be but just to be on the safe side I'm going to turn this magnet on and right here on this point where the vertex are I'm going to click G to grab and that'll snap that roof right into place now if we hit a to highlight everything in order to join all this so uh, it's one solid piece we need to merge by distance so you can come up to mesh clean up merge by distance or on the keyboard while you're in edit mode if you hit the letter M it'll bring it up right here by distance and you can see over here it removed nine vertices where it joined this end back together so everything's solid and that's it there's your roof and if we go into wire mode Z4 is the shortcut or you can come up here and just click on the wireframe you can see how it's nice and clean everything's one solid piece there I'll go back to the shaded Z2 or 
back up here and I still got the x-ray on. Now what we need to do is put the uh, walls in. Really on this bottom side means I'm putting walls all the way around. We don't need this inner piece. Whoop. Control V. Tab back in. Box select in wireframe. In order to highlight these pieces, you have to do it right on where that the blue line is for normals or just turn the x-ray and then you can click anywhere on that piece. So we're going to delete this. That'll save a little bit of try. Tab out now for the walls. I'll bring back up this three by three block. And I'm going to duplicate it. Shift D, enter, and I'm going to want another one. So I'm just going to hit Shift R, and it'll do. It'll replicate our last move. Which so now I've got two pieces there. I'm going to turn the original off, and I'm going to take one of these and drag down for the end there. I'm going to grab this one. Move it over. On this roof, right here is the corner of that start of that wall. So with that highlighted the magnet on, I can come up, hit G, and it'll snap right up. And now we can go back into edit mode. Two for edge select. Drop this down three meters, G, Z, minus three. Whoop, escape. I forgot to turn on the correct face. Now I can go G, Z, minus three. Enter. G, X, 15, like we did with the roof. Tab out. Come in on this piece. we got to rotate it. R, Z, 90, enter. G to snap back in. Tab, Edge Select, GZ3, put it down there in that corner. Well, I'm going to go GY9. Enter. Tab. Now I can join these. Join. Sorry guys, I'm on shadow play and I don't have a pause button. If my dog just went out that he wants to go out. So I have to kind of go over here and open the door for him. Go on. Never fails. I need to look in, I guess, to something that I can actually pause. I wish Shadow Play actually had a pause option on it, as far as I'm aware of. It doesn't. All right. Now we can duplicate this. Shift D. RZ 180 degrees and if I drag it over there a little bit 
come down G with the magnet on it'll snap in and join tab A M by distance and that's one solid building now and there's the start of a house with the walls right now anything you put on here is going to be that same texture base so if you put siding on it it's going to be siding on the gable ends and stuff I'll show you in another video on how to change these textures out uh, if when you're building you want it to look like siding or brick so you can visualize it better I'll do that in a separate video here uh, next and then we'll do the windows so I'll end this one here.